Hello students and a very warm welcome to Sor of Sor's classes. In today's tutorial, we will solve some sums that have appeared in the previous year question paper of Jawaharlal Nehru University. Basically, we will be solving those sums in this particular tutorial that is related to economics. If you want to get hold of the complete or the entire solution set, you can contact us on this number. And if you want to get hold of our study material pre-recorded lecture, then for detailed information, you can check in our website. So this is the first question which we are going to answer. It appeared in the year 2013. Let us first read. The question says an uh, indirect utility function is... So, there are several options given to us. So, first let us define what is an indirect utility function. So, the indirect utility function is defined as the maximum utility that can be attained given money income and goods prices okay so Utility is a function of P1, price of first commodity, second commodity and the budget, that is the money income. So it is equal to maximize utility x1, x2 subject to P1, x1 plus P2, x2 is equal to M. This is the budget line equation. So, the function is decreasing in prices and increasing in income and is homogeneous. of degree 0. So this cancels out. This is not the case. It is. It says degree 1. Profit maximization is not done here. We are, do, we are maximizing utility and it is defined over income and prices. This is income and prices. So A will be the correct answer to this particular question. Now this particular question appeared in the year 2015. So let's first read the question. The question says if some individual get 3000 rupees as her wage on first day of every month and if she spends exactly 100 every day and exhaust all her money by the end of the month then what would be her appropriate average money holding throughout the year? And we have some options. So let's do this. Now her average money holding per month is given by the formula this this is the formula is balance in the beginning of the month plus balance at the end of the month by 2. So it was 3000 balance at the end of the month was 0 by 2 so it will be rupees 1500. So D will be the correct answer to this particular question. So I hope this short tutorial was helpful. If it was please hit the like button subscribe to our channel 
share our videos and thank you so much for watching